What's up? I'm Dave Audet. I'm a DJ remixer producer, and I just won a Grammy. Did he really just say that? Did, <laughs> yeah, what a dick. Uh, Dave Audet is a dick. <laughs> Tell me about the beginning of your career. For me, it was about, I was a keyboard player. That turned into drum machines and sequencers and computer. That turned into keyboard player in rock bands. And that turned into DJing somehow. I needed a job and I had a lot of fun doing it, but I learned a lot about DJing. And by the way, every DJ should play winnings from its business beginning of their career, it would just, it broadens your musical taste. So would you say there's any overlap between playing a wedding and playing for a crowd in a club? No, I mean, you know, the whole time I'm at the wedding, I remember saying to myself, man, I wish I was at a club. That's the thing, you know, your heart's somewhere else. Talk to me a little bit about Moonshine Music. I didn't really run the label, but I was there when the label was founded, mm -hmm. and I was the first artist on the label. I had a band many, many years ago called Lunatic Fringe, mm -hmm. and then I ended up just producing and writing a lot of the music that was in the label. And the label sort of gave me my start, and it was the first label in the U.S. to really champion DJ compilations. Mm -hmm. By the mid-90s, Moonshine was um, the largest independent label in the U.S. DJs uh, that are still playing today, like Oak and Fold, Carl Cox, Dan and DJ Dan, but I was very lucky, lucky to be involved with Moonshine. They really uh, kind of put me in business. I haven't produced an album for anybody since 97. There's, a, there's definitely a place for albums, mm -hmm. one million percent. Yeah. Just like there's a place for people for vinyl. But for me, in what I do for a living, it's all about song, 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 song. So what's your kind of process in terms of getting into a creative flow and able to bang these club bangers out, so to speak? I kind of just try to do things subconsciously. I don't overthink them yeah. ahead of time. Because that's not really, to me, that's not very musical. It's not very, it's not, it's very formulaic. If you're very formulaic, like, okay, well, get the vocal, put it to this tempo, put this kick drum in there, put this snare in there, this hi-hat, let's go to this bass sound. That takes kind of the musicality out of it. I DJ by the seat of my pants. I'm not one of those guys that goes, okay, when I get there, here's my first song, and then I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna go there, and then I'm gonna go there. I just kinda, I'm experiencing my set the same way the people on the dance floor are. That's cool. So you get I have no it. idea what I'm playing. What fun is it to, to know exactly what you're going to play? It's like having all your meals planned out for you at it. How terrible would that be? Huh. To me, I'm just old school DJ, playing some music, no idea what I'm playing next. Could work, could not work. When you make a remix, it is a real faithful call to the original song. You know, I love music, and the last thing I want to do is come in and just tear somebody's song up. I try to find the great things that are already there and just sort of bring them out. A lot of people hire me because they know I'm not going to just totally jack their song up. Mm. Most people want to be able to go, here's where you are, here's where you are, here's where Taylor Swift is, mm -hmm. here's where you know this person is, here's where this artist is. I, I'm, I'm all over the place. I mean, I, if you listen to that Beyonce partition mix, for instance, it's over here, and Uptown Funk is over here. So let's uh, let's talk plugins real quick. Okay, what are those? Plugins are a big part of my life. And Plugin Alliance really for me is one of these cool companies that, that I've really just gotten turned on to in the last couple of years. And Sandman is um, definitely made its way into my world as like a cool little primary or secondary delay. Sounds a little different, it has some cool little tricks in there. Yeah, a lot of moving the start point and the end point, right? Sleep, just cool. I really love the SPL stuff. All the SPL stuff has kind of different, they're different plugins than every other plugin from any other manufacturer kind of thing. Okay. There's like the Moverb, the Deverb, the Vitalizer, which is basically a plug-in version of a hardware piece of hardware, which is cool. The new Transient Designer might be my favorite plugin. 
because I've always been really into transient designing. The transient is like a whole nother layer that people don't think about, which is what the transient fucking kind of helps you soften things up or harden things up. Making music, not just remixing, but producing music, is all about commitments. You gotta be able to commit all the time. A lot of people second guess and, oh my God, if I do that now, I won't be able to go back. And I'm, I'm big on, yes, let's go with that. Yes, that's a good, that's the right reverb. Print it. One of my top five big pieces of Dave advice is finish some stuff. You'd be surprised how many people you talk to just have a bunch of stuff that's just sitting on their hard drive or whatever. They worked on it, never finished it. Every day I make a list. When I get in the studio, I make a list of all the stuff I need to work on that day. And on there is a couple things that's been kind of lingering for a month or two or a year or two that I need to finish. And that's a big part of, of growing and producing music. Mm -hmm.